What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are going to look at the end of the Gloucester vs. Sail Sharks game that happened in the Premiership on the weekend. So here what happens is, um, Glo is Gloucester, if you can see, are 30 to 15 up, so 15 points up with 9 minutes left of play. And they then go for a drop goal to take their lead further ahead. So let's take a look at that. So it's a, it's not a great drop goal attempt, but um, it's all right. But if you see down here, now Gloucester are thirty three to fifteen points ahead. They've increased their score by three points, so they're now eighteen points ahead instead of fifteen points ahead. Um, but interestingly enough, they're still only three scores ahead. Okay, now what you can say is, Sale needs. Two, three tries instead of two tries and a penalty but I think at this level of the game you shouldn't really be trying to put your score less than an extra score ahead because of what can happen in the game so what happens now instead of Gloucester having the ball on this area of the pitch Sale I get to kick off and put the ball then in this area of the pitch and they're able to put Gloucester under pressure in their half instead of Gloucester putting Sale under pressure in their half. Hey, so this was meant to be the point where I show you Sale's comeback, but um, that part kept getting copyright claimed, so it's not in here. But basically, what happened Sale scored three tries but missed their conversions, and Gloucester ended up winning by one point. So let's move on to what I think Gloucester should have done instead of going for the drop goal. So what could Gloucester have done to manage this game better? So like I said, instead of going for the drop goal and then allowing Sale to have a restart and bung the ball down here in this area, what Gloucester should have done is just either hold on to the ball down here or take the ball and stick it into their 22. Just put a high punt up, put them under pressure, chase the kick and stick it into their 22 and make them play the ball down there. If they can't play the ball out of there, they then have to kick the ball back up to you. Now you should have enough players back in this area to be able to cover that. And what you do is you take that ball and you stick it right back into their area once again and get your chasers running up. And putting them under more under pressure down in this area again. And you manage that clock. Instead of giving them territory to put you under pressure down here. You need to keep them under pressure down here. And that's what Gloucester should have done to manage the end of that game. In my opinion. Instead of going for a drop goal and getting points. To be you not far enough ahead where the game has actually significantly changed. You've still given Gloucester as much of a chance of catching up as they had before that drop goal. Okay, it's slightly more difficult because they have to get three tries instead of two tries and a penalty. But I think it's much better as we saw what, what Sale did. It's just keep the ball down in that area of the field. But um, anyway, guys, if you did the, like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Do tell me down below if you agree with what I've said, if you disagree, and tell me why you think that way. And if you're new around here, please do subscribe. But as always, guys, have a great day. See ya.